Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today we'll, we'll take a look at free-to-play STR Metal Cooler. Not the one that starts as an SR, but the one that starts as an SSR. Also, by the way, he has the nicest sticker from the mall. Okay, let's take a look at his stats. 12,959 HP, 13,469 attack and 8,679 defense. He is fully easy 8. His leader skill is Wicked Bloodline category key 3, HP attack and defense 77% or STR type key 3, HP attack and defense 50%. His super attack is the Supernova, causes supreme damage to enemy and raises extreme class allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn. Alright, let's take a look at his passive which is called Wicked Blow. Attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking. Wicked Bloodline category allies attack and defense 30%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of become, becoming a super attack when all allies attacking in the same turn have Metal Cooler in their names. I think from his um, uh, dupe system, I think that, and his passive, looking at this passive, I mean, I think that crit might be interesting, going fully crit. I also think that going um, full additional might also be very profitable because he raises allies attack and defense with his super attack and if he does that three times might be interesting however his passive has nothing that makes him a slot one unit and I generally hate uh, units that buff um, that support um, other units with their super attack. I generally dislike that. Same link set, same, link set, same um, categories. Nothing much to explain here. Okay, first I have to get rid of this rotation. And then we'll take a look at him. Like, there's nothing crazy going to happen. This is going to be a really quick showcase. Because there's no real reason to um, experiment. Because there's nothing to experiment. The, however, the best part of, about this dude is that he is not bound to just this um, Metal Cooler team. He is also useful in the Wicked Bloodline team. Like generally all the other teams, he's not um, stuck on a metal cooler team. Not like the not like the others. He's also an orb dependent. There's no dependence on orbs, and we're going to get a nice rotation because not only does he get support on this rotation, but um. Yeah, he's not going to die. Almost 4 million. One, he can technically super attack three times. That's about it. There's nothing more to show. However, like I said, I'm going to sh generally show these free-to-play units on their best team. And this is still his best team. Though I assume that he could be very interesting on Terrifying Conquerors or Artificial Life Forms once um, a la First Form Cell gets his easy A. But yeah, that's quite literally it. There's nothing to show here. So if you, if you like my content, please subscribe or leave a like and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.